Hey there, I'm Chef Lauren Smith, and today I'm going to be bringing you a new show, Comfort Food with a Conscience. It's based around eating your favorite comfort foods and cooking them at home, but we're going to translate them so they basically don't clog an artery. So all your favorite things to eat, we're going to work on bringing them to you consistently so you can have really simple recipes at home that you like to make, that are easy to make, you can get the family involved with them but really just recipes that you can enjoy, but also bring you nourishment. We're gonna do just that today. We have a really simple, simple kind of burger and salad with some sweet potato chips, all sorts of things that are commonly in your fridge. I'm gonna show you how to play around with them a little bit. So try this at home, I know you'll like it, and get your family involved. It's a great time for comfort food. So to get started on this chicken, it's really simple. All you need is good equipment, so make sure you have a good food processor. If you use a blender, you're not gonna really get the results you want. I have this cool double blade food processor, so it's like super awesome. It's gonna make this really easy. So this burger, items that are commonly in your fridge, chicken, greens, any kind, kale, spinach, shard. Then I have some green onions, some mushroom, and some cheese. Really simple, and you can use it however you want it. If you don't like kale, use spinach. If you don't like mushrooms, you can use a different kind or omit them. And if you don't like blue cheese, which I have a beautiful one here left over from a really nice cheese board I made the other day. If you don't like blue cheese, use Parmesan, use American, use pepper jack. Honestly, cooking is your own version. Use what you like and what works best for your body. So we have really good organic free range chicken here. Two breasts, two thighs. I sliced them up into nice big chunks to make it a little bit easier in the food processor. So these just go right in. And we're using the dark meat here to kind of keep everything together. It has more flavor and it has a really good fat content. I'm gonna get this blended up a little bit. So we're gonna pulse it a couple times and then we'll start adding in all the good stuff. So the chicken's good to go. And don't worry if you end up with a couple big chunks in there. This is kind of what holds it together. You don't want like liquefied pureed chicken. I'm just gonna take a little spatula and go right on into a large bowl with all this good chicken. All right, so we're gonna use this again to blend up our veggies. What I have are some nice peeled garlic. This is about three cloves worth. You can use two big cloves, whatever. And then I have a big hefty cup worth of kale. I love kale. If you don't like it, if it's too bitter, use spinach, use shard. Just try to get as many greens into your life as you can. That's kind of what we're doing here. It's a good way to sneak them in on kids. When they're blended up in meat, they don't seem to notice. And then I have a nice big cup of cremini mushrooms. They're baby portobellos, really nice flavor. And they're kind of meaty too. So those go right in. Let's kind of press everything down. And the last thing is that nice blue cheese. This is a beautiful imported Roquefort. And I'm just gonna crumple it a tiny, tiny bit just so there's not one big honking piece of blue cheese in there. All right, oh, it smells so good already. I'm just gonna give my hands a quick wash. Okay, this is ready to blend. And if things don't mix up right away, don't worry about it. You just have to give it a little bit of a stir. Once those mushrooms get down by the blade, everything will start kind of mixing up. So you just pack them in there nicely and then go for round two. Once this is all blended up, right into your chicken. And don't worry again if you have big chunks of things. That's kind of like the nice surprise inside of the burger. You'll get this cool green color from that kale. Nice big pieces of mushroom. Get rid of that. And then all we really have to do is season this and mix it. So I have some really good sea salt. You wanna do about a teaspoon worth and you can season it as you go. And then just some nice fresh cracked pepper. Last 
last thing. Here's about four scallions chopped up. If you don't like them, don't put them in. If you're not a huge fan of scallions, do shallots, something really good like that. That nice oniony flavor. Goes really well with blue cheese. So just mix this up, get everything incorporated. It doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever. So we're ready to make this chicken into patties. So grab yourself a plate, baking pan, whatever is easy, and just go to town. Just grab a handful, and this is a good time to get other people involved. It's a fun thing to kind of make these and make it a faster process. Also, with your kids, it's a good thing for them to see because you want them to get used to where food comes from. A lot of kids think that chicken nuggets and burgers come out of a package. They need to realize that it was once kind of an animal. So at an early age, this teaches you a respect for the ingredient. I know it's a little on my soapbox, but get your kids involved. That's basically the point. So I'm just going to make nice patties here. We're looking at about four to five inches, and they'll shrink up when you cook them. So just grab a handful, make sure the edges are nice and firm, make a little ball, and then just press it on down. And if you get any chunks falling off, just push it back together. You'll see nice big chunks of mushrooms and chicken. So this mix ends up making you about 12 patties this size. So if you make them bigger, you're going to have less. If you make them smaller, you're going to have more. But if you end up with extras, like if you're only going to feed a family of four, freeze them. Put them in plastic wrap, put them in a Tupperware, and it ends up just perfect. So this recipe basically is going to make you about 12 patties. Now that's for this size. If you make them smaller, you're going to have more. If you make them bigger, you're going to have less. But say you're only feeding a family of four, just freeze the extras. You'll have it another day for another recipe. You can make them into meatballs. You can use them again on meatloaf. Really kind of versatile. I'm just going to get these on the grill. I have one of these nice grill pans here. And it's on a nice kind of medium-high heat. We're going to plop them on, give them about six minutes for each side. We just want to make sure that chicken's cooked all the way through. So a chicken, you want to make sure that it's cooked through all the way. With these burgers, we're going to do six to seven minutes on both sides, and that should ensure us that the chicken is cooked through all the way. You can also use a food thermometer, and when it reads 160 degrees at the middle, then that's when you know it's to restaurant standard cooked through. 